Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video and I basically want to uh, do the N22 benchmark test on the S7, the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, the Nexus 6P and the Sony Xperia performance on version 6.2. So let's just run it over here on these devices. And it looks like this test is a little bit different on the iPhone 7 perhaps, but it is the ver latest version. Okay, great. So it's up and running right now. And... Um... Okay, great. Sweet. I'm not sure for how long this test will run, but hopefully not too long. And I'm pretty sure the iPhone should be getting a great score. Just because the iPhone is having some pretty, pretty nice software inside. All rendering this little thing over here in 1080. You can kind of see the performance here. It looks a little bit slower, I gotta say, on the Nexus 6P, as far as from what I can see. And I'm pretty sure it looks most smooth here on the uh, iPhone 7 Plus. Yeah, for sure it's the slowest on the on the Nexus 6P. So now the iPhone seems to be going into a RAM test. And now it seems to be a CPU test. Image processing blur on the Android phones. 3D physics simulation, 55% finished on the uh, iPhone 7 Plus. Okay, now it's gonna do the same kind of tests here on the uh, other devices. So it's at 62% for the iPhone. multi-rendering I think it, no multi-threading is what it's doing kind of seems like the Android phones are kind of catching up here doing some CPU tests now also map operation gem operation image decode PNG so it seems like it's doing some um, picture picture stuff a 2d physics engine Interesting how it turns green there on the iPhone or on the iPhone once it hit like 70% huh. Doing some multi-threading here now also on the Android phones and It's gonna be interesting. It really feels like the the iPhone 7 is gonna get the best from what I also read online now it's doing some UX test is that like the user experience or something I don't know I think it's something like that still testing the CPU performance here uh, multitask on the Android phones okay the S7 and the X performance is running around the same speed and the iPhone seems to be finishing up any second now 97% Okay, let's see what score it's getting. Uh, not now. 
Okay, the iPhone 7 is up and running. It got a score of 174,651. Okay, interesting. Let's see what kind of uh, score we are getting here on the on the S7 with under 7.0 and X performance with under 7.0 beta and 7.0 also on the Nexus 6P. Fifty-nine thousand 3D, fifty-two thousand UX, uh, forty-nine thousand on CPU, but almost fifty thousand RAM, almost thirteen thousand. Hmm. Okay, it seems like the S7 is gonna finish this up first. It's a little bit faster than the X, X performance. Decoding JPEG. And the 6P there behind. Okay, we have the S7 up and running as well. And wow, uh, only 121,000. Um, when we look at the 3D, 42,000, almost 60,000 here, a big difference. Uh, also, big difference on CPU, 35,000, almost 50,000 over here. Uh, RAM, it was uh, the closest on for sure. Interesting here how the Nexus 6P pops in before the X performance and this one only 75,000 oh my god that is really slow wow the X performance is getting higher the X performance is getting higher than the S7 I did not expect that so to put them in a perspective here the iPhone 7 first uh, with 174 uh, a thousand completely dominates uh, in terms of 3d here though I gotta say 3d here fits 6,000 versus 59,000 is really close on the 3d the X performance um, yeah that that is really really interesting uh, Samsung though really falling behind there I'm not sure it can be the firmware uh, and this one of course extremely falling behind there on the 3d aspect only 25,000 uh, but yeah, quick little video, checking that out for fun, hopefully you enjoyed and uh, have a great day.